Hello everyone, welcome to episode number two of making a shadow box game in Roblox. Um, I've made a lot of progress so far, so if you guys can see right now I have two screens going on because I'm going to have to uh, have two players to show you guys this. But now if we click join and we click join with this one, we have a pad. Let's do up and up. Okay, let's do left and left. Okay, I went that way. And then we'll just get it wrong, so... We'll do that. Okay. So then now he's up. So we'll go up, up. Okay. Down, down. Um, one thing I did forget to do, go with the combination. So I didn't make it go like, let's say you go up and then you go left. I uh, didn't make it yet where it goes up, then left. Um, I'm going to make that in the next episode. I've just been, it's taken so long to make this work. And in that, um, we won. You could see that the timers paused. So the game no longer goes on because we just won we got um the three in a row so now back in studio here um there's a lot of changes in the ring we have a new ui called move ui we have a new folder called animations which you're going to need to put your own animations in here so you're gonna need you can you can use my own you're just gonna have to re-upload it under your name so you can go through all of these and re-upload them just under your name and then put the ids here but you're gonna need to replace these with your own animations players in ring is the same except we have these two values but the handler do not touch anything in here i know this says th this is the win function there's nothing in there yet because i didn't make that yet but do not mess with anything in here this is super messy um there's probably a lot of better ways to write this code but i just it was kind of rushed so it's super messy if you don't know what you're doing do not touch anything in here because there's a chance that you probably will mess it up unless you understand how um unless you have a decent understanding of how coding works um the move ui you can mess around with you can mess around with how it looks this bar down here is the timer so i didn't show you guys but if this timer reaches zero it gives the players each five seconds let's say player one makes a move but player two just stalls once that timer runs out, it just auto picks for them. So that's the timer UI. Um, I'll go in here and show you guys. We have directions, time timer holder. You guys can change this up however you want, the colors, the design of it. Just make sure everything stays the same. So make sure all of these buttons are in a folder called buttons. Um, make sure you have the handler inside of a frame called direction, directions. And then this frame is called timer holder and you have it named bar. But other than that, you guys can change it up however you want looks wise so you want to make these have arrows instead of text make them have arrows if you guys want it not to be round make it not round do whatever you want to the ui and then just put it back inside of the ring once you're done with it the events there's a new event called choose direction and um it is mainly used in the handler script but yeah that's pretty much it uh i've been working a lot on this like the co the handler is that already over 400 lines of code so i've been working on this a lot i know you guys are requesting a lot like finishers all that stuff i need to get the base game out of the way so this episode and the next episode will be focused on the base game and then once that's done once we actually have the game working then we can get into the fancy stuff like finishers and points and stuff like that and a leaderboard stuff like that but i hope you guys enjoyed please leave any questions comments concerns in the description below this is probably one of the hardest even though it's a kit and i'm laying it out for you guys to customize this it's kind of hard to uh, to make sure you know what you're doing and not to mess anything up so if you guys have any problems please leave them in the comments below and if you guys you know a lot of times you guys comment and i don't really understand what you're saying so if you want to send me a picture please join my discord server linked in the description if you guys send me a picture of the code and then have circled like something that's underlined or something a piece of the code that's not working it i can understand it better because i can see the rest of the code not just a comment of the single line or the or the multiple lines of code i can see the whole code so if you guys want priority response and uh me being able to help you better join the discord server in the description and that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you like, subscribe on your way out. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.